everyone, welcome to Dallas. This is Mickey Adams. Thanks for tuning in here on YouTube. Here's a brief discussion for you beginners about the generation of overtones or harmonics on the pedal steel guitar or any other stringed instrument for that matter. Anytime we strike a string, we are actually generating overtones, but we don't perceive them unless we draw them from the string by the use of, oh, probably a finger. What we're effectively doing is dividing the string into equal segments. I'm going to depress my B pedal and strike the sixth string, which is A. If my guitar is tuned to concert pitch, what we call A440, it means that my A should be tuned to 440 cycles per second. This is the A below middle C. Now, if I divide the string in half with my finger, I perceive 880 cycles per second. Now since the string is ringing at 440 cycles per second, if you counted every other vibration, it would be ringing at 220 cycles per second, and that would generate an A one octave below this one, and that's what we would perceive. So when we touch the string in this manner, we are actually generating the overtone. Now, since the overtone is a function of the length of the string, not the tension of the string, when we strike it and generate it, we can alter the tension of the string with a pedal without losing the effectivity of the harmonic itself. Now, as we're sliding the bar though, the, the friction on the bar will tend to degenerate the overtone rather rapidly. So, if we place a rigid surface on the fingerboard, such as our bar, we merely have to divide the string length again. So since I'm at the fifth fret here, if I add 12, I get 17. And if I can effectively touch the string and strike it, I'll generate the overtone. If I divide it again, which would then be here and then here, I'll get other overtones. But again, like I said, they're, they're rather faint and you have to be very, very precise in order to execute these. So this is where overtones come from. So bear this in mind, guys, that when you're playing chords, you can strike a chord and then touch the string and get the overtone. You can also have notes ringing true, play an overtone on top, and then move your pedals or levers in whichever fashion you, uh, you care to move about the scales and keep the overtones ringing. It's a great effect and it's a great tool to have in your arsenal. I hope this has opened up some doors for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you right back here at the Pedal Steel.